hope you're all doing well. My name is Cleopatra and it is officially 2023 and I'm just very excited to see what this year has to offer and I'm also really excited to bring you guys along my 2023 year and journey. So in today's video I wanted to film a plan and prep with me not only for the year 2023 but also for the month of January and for my new school semester. And I wanted to share with you guys the pieces of software that I'm going to be using to stay organized and to just prioritize all of the important tasks that I need to accomplish this year. And on top of that I wanted to share some of my goals and some bucket list ideas and items that I am looking forward to accomplishing and achieving this year. So if this video interests you or inspires you in some way, keep on watching and let's just get started. Now I'm going to start talking about some of the goals that I've set this year and I tend to find or I feel like a lot of us can agree that during the, like the month of January and like very much like the beginning of the year, everyone starts off with this very ambitious mindset and attitude to set all these goals and to achieve all of them and i tend to find that i find myself falling into that habit as well but this year i really do want to make the initiative and put the effort in to achieve some of these goals because these are things that i have been really putting off or these are either things that i really wanted to achieve last year but i didn't get around to doing so i really want to be able to document some of these things with you guys and bring you guys along the process and i feel like that would also motivate me to get some of these goals accomplished and done so in no particular order, some of the goals that I want to accomplish is this year I want to get my driver's license. Now here where I live, it's like a two-step process. Like you get your learners and then after you get your, so first you get your learners and then you have to wait an entire year after you get your learners to get like your full driver's license. So I already have my learners, I've done the driving school and pretty much all I need to do is go out and do the road test but I haven't gone around to doing it. I've been pushing it off just because I'm, I don't know, like I'm a, I, like, I really do want to get my license and I really do want to drive and I want to have my own car but there's just something about it that just scares me like being on the road I don't know it's just scary obviously just because it's like a new experience and it's something that I'm not used to but um I really do want to get my license this year and I really do want to be able to drive so that is definitely one of the things that I want to accomplish this year another thing that I want to do is I want to buy my first car and um I don't know I feel like that would be really exciting because I feel like that would be like one of my first like big adult purchases so um buying a car is something that I'm really excited and looking forward to I'm not looking for anything like fancy or like extremely brand new honestly it can get me from point A to point B and it's something that I can rely on for like at least five years that is a win for me so that is another thing I want to do um I also want to maintain a 3.0 GPA or higher I did that last semester and I was really happy and I really do want to um, accomplish that again this semester so hopefully we can get that done. Um, I also want to allow Sundays to be my rest days and one thing I've come to the conclusion or realized recently is I am kind of addicted to stress and being under um, lots of stress obviously like being in university and school it can be very stressful and it can be very difficult but I tend to find that I have a hard time relaxing or I feel guilty whenever I allow myself to relax so I really want to have one day in the week where I can just call it my Sabbath and I can just relax and spend time with my family and honestly just enjoy living and not be under an immense amount of pressure to always get things done or to always do things last minute and I always feel like having that day to just reset and recharge really helps and it really makes a big difference. Another thing is I want to find another stream of income. I do make content on social media but I don't make any money off of it and I have worked part-time jobs before and I honestly just kind of want to have a different stream of income that I can have so I don't solely rely on one and I feel like if I do um, find a new stream of income it can put me in a position where it almost forces me or it gives me the opportunity I feel like is a better way to like word it or phrase it to like learn new skills and to also apply them to my life so there's that and not obviously last but definitely not least but um last but definitely not least is i really do want to prioritize god i feel like last year our relationship with god it was very it was very rocky it was there was a lot of ups and downs and obviously this year i'm not saying i want to have a perfect relationship with god because obviously that's not going to happen and that's not really realistic or ideal but i really 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 do want to prioritize him and i really want to put him first and by that I mean I always want him to be the first one that I run to. I want him to be the one that I always talk to when I have a problem. When I wake up in the morning, first thing that I want to think about or the first thing I want to do is just pray and spend time with him. And um, I really just want to be able to prioritize that and just develop a healthier relationship with God because I tend to find that sometimes I can be very toxic in my relationship with God and I tend to find that sometimes I can only run to him or talk to him when like I need something or when I'm in a really stressful situation and obviously that's not how you should treat somebody that you're in a relationship with and honestly that's not how you should treat anyone in general so I really do want to overcome that and um, that's something that I really want to prioritize and 
accomplish this year. So yeah. Now on to bucket list ideas. Very excited for this. I didn't do this last year and I saw somebody else do it in their video when they were like doing like their resolution um, for like the new year or for 2023. And I thought this was really cool. So I have a few things I would really like to do on my bucket list. And the first one is plan a road trip. Obviously I can only do this if I have a car and my license. So praying that I can get those two things so then I can plan a road trip. I would really love for my family to just go on a road trip either to like the mountains or I don't know just somewhere outside of the city that I live in I feel like it would be really nice and I kind of am gravitating towards like a road trip that's more like nature themed so we can like go outside because I know like here where I live there's a lot of really beautiful national parks and it's just really beautiful during the summertime and I feel like that's something that my family would really enjoy so planning a road trip is definitely something that I really really want to do um another thing is I want to go somewhere new now I live in a city but I feel like or I live in a relatively like big city I guess you could say and I honestly don't explore it a lot and I feel like there's so many parts of the city that I have yet to discover so this year I really just kind of want to explore different parts of the city whether that's going to a new cafe or going to a new library or honestly just uh, like I don't know partaking more in like events that take place in my city I really just want to go somewhere new and different because I feel like whenever you go to like new and different places you always have like different experiences and I feel like it makes really good memories to like scrapbook or even like journal so I really would love to do that and one of the last things on my bucket list is I want to try to learn a new recipe every month now the thing is I can already cook and my cooking skills are like mediocre pretty average and I tend to find that I eat the same thing a lot so I feel like if I tried learning a new recipe every month I feel like that would be really cool I feel like it could expand um, my food choices and like my taste buds I guess you could say and also um, I don't know I feel like my siblings would like it too if I was like making like different things and trying different things and I feel like it's something that I can also document on like um, social media or being as long the process so yeah now on to the notion boards so for me personally I tend to find that I really 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 have fallen in love with and I adore using Google calendars for scheduling and time blocking and just managing my day just because I personally really like time blocking and I feel as though for me um, when I know what I have to do every hour it just makes it easier for me to make sure that I um, get all the tasks that I need to get done accomplished and so I don't procrastinate at least too much um, but this year I really want to try to branch out and expand and use different softwares to organize my life so this year I really want to try using Notion. I'm definitely still going to be using Google Calendar, but I kind of want to incorporate using Notion a bit more. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this piece of software. It's also free and I see a lot of students use it. So I was like, you know what? Might as well. So for me personally, I'm still very new to the software and I don't really know much about like customizing and like creating really cool templates. So I honestly just went on Pinterest and I found some free templates that I downloaded and I opened them up into my Notion board. I will have all the free ones that I found linked down below and you guys can check those out. Um, I'll also link my Pinterest down below because you can find them there as well. But long story short, I found three different templates. I found a minimal aesthetic one. I found an aesthetic student planner and then lastly I found a home template planner and for me personally I was going for three different planners because I wanted to kind of like separate and differentiate how I was going to organize my life so pretty much the minimal and aesthetic dashboard or planner I really want to use this one for like social media and content creating and pretty much organizing my life in that sense and then obviously for the aesthetic student planner I want to use that one for school I also really like how this one has a built-in planner in it already this one reminds me of the planner that you would typically see on like Google Calendar how you would like time block everything and I feel like that's really cool and also seeing these um, like templates was really like inspiring me to try to create my own because I'm beginning to realize that like there's so much versatility and you can really customize them which I feel like is something that Google calendars really lacks because there's not much room for customization apart from being able to like color code like your calendars or even like your events but here you can really like do like the complete 180 and like change things up um, for me personally I'm definitely planning on personalizing these notion boards a little bit I might just end up changing some of the pictures but that's probably like the farthest I would go. Now we've gotten to a part in the video that I'm very excited for and we're going to be creating the vision board. I haven't made a vision board in ages so looking forward to this. I'm very excited to bring you guys along this process. I think for me personally one word that I really want to focus on oh well there's a few but I think one of the ones that really sticks out to me this year is enjoy. I really want to be able to enjoy life and I also want to be able to enjoy living because I feel like that was one thing that I really struggled with that last year 
and sometimes when you're in a point where you just don't enjoy living it gets tough and it gets hard and um again i think that's something that i really want to work on because life is it can be very beautiful but it can also be very challenging and difficult at times and i do really want to be able to find healthier solutions and alternatives to really work through those difficult times in life because obviously life is always going to be stressful but i feel like what really sets people apart is the way that they handle manage and deal with that stress so that is another thing that i really want to work on this year and not just this year but i think that's something that i want to continuously work on throughout the rest of my life so i think enjoy or i'm probably going to change the word okay um somewhere or halfway through the video but yeah but i'm going to be creating my um I'm debating. I'm probably just going to create my vision board on my laptop because I think this will be a little easier. But the only pieces of software that I'm honestly going to be using are Photoshop and Canva. You honestly really don't need to use Photoshop. I would honestly just stick to Canva just because it's free and you can do everything that I'm doing right now on Canva. So as always, we're going to be going to Handy Danny Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest. Pinterest is one of my favorite social media platforms. And we're just going to honestly start saving some pins. I already have some pins that are saved. That I kind of want to like incorporate into my vision board. I honestly don't know how many pictures I'm gonna need, but we're kind of just gonna go for it. Definitely want to do a lot of reading this year. I really want to improve my style this year and kind of create more of like a capsule wardrobe because I tend to find like I have clothes, but I don't really know what I want to wear or what to wear, or I struggle a lot putting together outfits. I also want to work on having a more aesthetic room i feel like for me personally the aesthetic that i really gravitate towards is just anything minimalistic and clean oh girl i'm obsessed with that look and i feel like when i walk into h&m home it literally embodies the way that i would want my house to look at one at some point in my life obviously not like the way that it's like structured like the setup of like h&m home but like a lot of the decor that they have in there i really love the modern simple minimalistic um aesthetic and look and feel that it has to it so there's also that as well making my vision board and I'm gonna see what it looks like now because I set it as my desktop wallpaper so <laughs> there's that mm -hmm. oh, oh. it's a little off centered yeah it's definitely not centered but for the most part I like the way that it looks the collage is really cute I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make some adjustments because there's definitely some things that need to be tweaked and need to be fixed but for the most part it looks really cute you guys like if you can see obviously i'll insert like a picture of it inside like i kind of wanted to go through it quickly and run through and like explain some of the things and some of the points here so as i said before in the very beginning of the video one of my goals this year was i wanted to be able to drive obviously this is not the car that i intend to buy but i just really like the way that it looks so i thought that i would just put it on here to remind me like getting my license is something that i really want to do um in terms of school i really do want to work harder in school and i really do want to take um, more aesthetic notes because I do have an iPad for school so I really do want to utilize it to the best of my abilities because it definitely wasn't cheap so I definitely want to get my money's worth out of that and another thing here is I really love having an aesthetic and clean work and study space so that's something that I really want to work towards having and just keeping because I tend to find that I don't really use my desk as much as um, I would want to which I find very weird um, because I tend to do like a lot of my work on my bed which is not the best idea um, following this is you can see some pictures of like self-care i again i really do want to prioritize taking care of myself and making sure that i am just giving myself the ability and the time to relax especially when things get hard or during just stressful seasons or just taking care of myself just because i feel like it so yeah but obviously like self-care is so much more than just being able to do like a face mask or you know like massaging your face or anything of that sort um following that i also have these two pictures here there's a girl with a necklace and there's also um this girl just standing here i really want to work on um building my wardrobe and almost creating like a capsule wardrobe this year um just because i tend to find that i gravitate towards a lot of like minimal simple designs um in terms of like the way that i like my room to look and also clothing so i feel like if i could transfer more of that like minimalistic aesthetic into my clothing i feel like it'd just be far easier for me to like mix and match and make outfits um following that i also have a picture of a girl with hair i really want to use this year to take care of my hair since i have started going natural my hair has definitely grown a lot 
but I definitely have not been putting in the effort and giving it the attention that it needs. So I feel like this year I definitely do want to just have that patience and have that consistency to always take care of my hair and to also put the effort in to get the results that I really want. Um, and then I also lastly have um, a couple of Bible verse quotes, uh, or like actually a couple here. Um, once again, reminding myself um, to put God first and that his ways are always higher than my ways and that um, I just need to trust in him and his timing is always the best and just to develop a stronger relationship and connection with him. So this is what my vision board looks like for 2022. I definitely drew a lot of inspiration from a lot of things on Canva. To be honest, if you want to make a vision board, 100% go over to Canva. So many things that you can use or like utilize to like really customize like, um, what's it called again? Your vision board and to like make it like a wallpaper for your, um, laptop so yeah okay so you have come to the end of the video thank you very much for watching i really hope that this video was able to inspire you or help you in any way or by any means once again thank you so much for supporting my channel and i hope that i can see you guys again for another video bye <laughs>